Hello, Gemini. Time for your reading. So I'm hoping something good will show up for you. Uh, no matter what shows up, remember, I have to be honest, I can't sugarcoat, deceive or lie. Okay, because I'll be creating karma for myself. So whatever you are meant to see in this reading, you will see. If you're coming here because you clicked on the video or somebody else forwarded it to you, you are meant to see it. So let's do this. We're going to ask about what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing, how to best handle it for your highest good. And of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video. Uh, whether you're currently in touch with them or not. Most of you are not in touch with your soulmate at this time. Some of you are in sporadic communication, which means misunderstandings, obviously. So, of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate and what they're dealing with facing in the life that you are allowed to see for your highest good. And, of course, we're going to ask about your soulmates energies towards you meaning how they are relating to you at this time especially emotionally universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of gemini for gemini's highest good please universe what is coming towards gemini what will gemini be dealing with facing and how to best handle it what is coming towards gemini I see extra, very strong energy trying to pop out over here. Four of Wands, beautiful energy. I'm loving this. Wow, Five of Cups. So right here it shows you are very sad, depressed. Uh, you have a lot of regrets about your soulmate connection. So you are regretting some of the things that have happened in the past, transpired, were said, were done. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of regrets, sadness. This is often uh, considered crying over spilled milk. But remember, this energy is temporary. Okay. Uh, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Emperor, the sun. So a lot of you, this shows very clearly a lot of you have been doing inner work. You have been looking within yourself, doing spiritual work to see what it is that you need to do to get better. What it is that you contributed uh, that made you feel this regretful, sad and disappointment. Uh, and disappointed emotionally some of you may be dealing with a uh, with an Aries and some of you are dealing with a Leo the type of work you're doing right now on yourself to be on better path and understand relationships better the universe is supporting that work and shows you there is light at the end of the tunnel better times coming to you if you continue uh, with this work and self-assessment and you are honest with yourself and people around you this is beautiful rewards coming to you the best energy in the whole deck let's see the extra yeah knight of swords so you need to be honest with yourself and people around you but don't guard your heart so much where people think you don't care about them um yeah, be more open emotionally when you communicate with other people. Let's see clarification. What's coming towards Gemini? What will Gemini be dealing with facing? Uh, so there will be apologies. Uh, apologies will need to be spoken on both sides, it looks like, in this soulmate connection. You would like a new beginning. You love this person. You have passion for this person. You also want something new in your life. Um, so there are people that know you for a long time that are arguing with you, fighting you, trying to steer you uh, where they feel you need to go. But remember, if you are an adult and you are, uh, what decisions you make about your life is your business and it's up to you unless you are willing to share it with others but um 
you know, you need to follow your own path and learn at your own pace. Whether people disagree with you or not, you need to, those are your individual lessons you need to learn at your own pace. This is beautiful. So this shows very clearly that the the sadness, the depression you're feeling at times that is very deep. Uh, if you continue doing inner work and try to find your own path and do right by other people and be honest with yourself and people around you, what it is that you want and expect from them. Uh, look at this beautiful energy, the sun with 10 of cups, joy, emotional fulfillment, happiness, beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Uh, your energy showed up in here on top of four of wands. We have the lover's card, which is Gemini. Some of you may be dealing with another Gemini. No matter who you're dealing with, the universe is showing you that this connection you have with your soulmate, this is uh, of many lifetimes. You two were together in partnership before in other lifetimes. Beautiful. So you love the person and the person loves you. Two of Cups. So remember, this Five of Cups of sadness, regret, is temporary you can turn around and work on things uh yeah and make it better justice so you have to do the right thing whatever it is that you're concentrating on whether it's your family relationships your soulmate relationship your job your co-workers your neighbors your friends you have to do right by people uh when we do right by other people uh good will come our way when we are sneaky dishonest uh play mind games that energy will come back to us to haunt us so it's very important to understand no matter what actions we take in our life in any of the relationships if it's good good will reward us if it's bad it's going to reflect back to us to teach us a lesson it's called karma beautiful so you're going to have clear vision what it is you need to do. Uh, be honest with yourself. You're going you're gonna to see clearly uh, the changes for the better if you continue doing uh, inner work and are honest with yourself and people around you. Um, let's see clarification. But for this clarification, I need full deck i want to have the full deck of cards um let me see universe please step in show clarification for this knight of swords four of wands again family uh so there are family members who are there for you love you want to assist you help you this also shows soulmate connection with somebody who is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, very strong soulmate connection. This is you coming across to them as not caring, not loving. It doesn't mean that's how you are. That's how people view you. They view you as very closed off emotionally, not caring, not loving towards them. They're not understanding you because you're not expressing to them what you feel. So you have unfinished business with this soulmate of yours uh you signed a soul contract with them uh wheel of fortune so you're gonna have another opportunity the universe will give you another opportunity to work with this person on this connection but remember ultimately what happens with your relationships is up to your free will and their free will it's not up to the universe um so it's good for you to be more uh, show more emotions when you deal with these people, whether it's your family or soulmate or friends. Show them your emotions. Uh, don't be so guarded where people misunderstand you and think that you don't love them or care about them. Um, let's see your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, no matter what sign or gender they are, whether you're currently in touch with them or not. Most of you are not in touch. Some of you are in sporadic contact, which means miscommunications going on, misunderstandings. Uh, we're going to also ask what's going on with your soulmate that you are allowed to see for your highest good and 
how they are currently relating to you, especially emotionally. Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Gemini, no matter what sign or gender they are, what are the soulmates' uh, current energies? What is the soulmate of Gemini currently dealing with facing in their life? that Gemini is allowed to see for the highest good and how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini especially emotionally oh I see very strong extra and another one let's do this so this is your soulmate's energy what's going on with them oh ten of cups beautiful emotional fulfillment joy happiness family happiness this is beautiful justice love this some of you may be dealing with um a libra also water signs cancer pisces scorpio eight of wands this person wants to communicate honestly openly beautiful some of you dealing with aquarius no matter what sign or gender they are on a collective level this shows this person wants to do right by you and right by this connection this this soulmate connection uh this relationship they want to do right things they don't want to play any mind games uh, they want honest open communication back and fourth communication they have been praying hoping wishing for this to happen this is beautiful star energy with ten of cups so this person loves you this person does love you let me see the extras two of swords so they feel blocked by you uh like you blocking them you are not opening your heart to them you're not communicating openly with them they want to offer you this love relationship, but they feel blocked by you, confused by your behavior at times, or have been confused recently. Let me see. Universe, please step in show very clear and important messages, more detail. The soulmate of Gemini. What is the soulmate of Gemini dealing with? And uh, how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini, especially emotionally? So a lot of you may be dealing with the Leo. Leo, Libra, Aquarius. Could be any sign whatsoever. Also fire signs, water signs showed up. Uh, this person is restraining themselves. they waiting to see how you're going to react. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person wants to do right by you. This person is very grounded, serious about relationship. Uh, wife or husband material. Not looking for anybody else. Concentrating on their finances, health, well-being. Yeah, so the universe will give you another chance. Here, this Wheel of Fortune again. Your energy here. The lion holding the sword of truth. This person is hoping for open back and forth communication between the two of you. Uh, they view you as very closed off, emotionally guarded. Yeah, they, they feel you are very guarded, emotionally closed off. Um, let me see more clarification. So they are concentrating on their job, uh, finances, financial stability. But this also shows they are willing to work with you on this connection. They recognize the emotional connection between the two of you. Yeah, beautiful soulmate. So here it is on top of justice, four of wands again for the third time. So this shows here that you have a soul contract with this person justice with the wheel of fortune especially in the same <clears throat> spread shows you have a soul contract that you signed before you incarnated so whatever <clears throat> you don't finish in this lifetime you're gonna have to bring over to the next lifetime and work on it 
since you're already here, you might as well work on it now. So your next lifetime together is easier, more harmonious, okay? So they view you as very guarded emotionally, uh, like you don't love them, like you don't show emotions. They've been checking up on you, uh, whether it's through social media or mutual acquaintances or friends or family members, whatnot. This person has been checking up on you, but they see you as very guarded emotionally, confusing. Uh, n yeah. So this person is sad, has regrets about the past just like you do, they want to move forward with their life. They want to move beyond that toxic energy of heartbreak. They don't want to feel it anymore. They've been feeling a lot of sadness, depression. Yeah, they ready for change and major changes coming to their life with this death card, transformation, unavoidable changes. Uh, divinely ordered, this is major arcana, life force card, death also scorpio some of you may be dealing with the scorpio and seven of pentacles so they've been working on themselves they've been uh trying to see light at the end of the tunnel uh they've been sad and depressed uh they feel rejected by you uh like you feel like they're not good enough for you i want to clarify these two energies very important with the full deck Let's see, universe, please clarify these energies. The soulmate of the soulmate of Gemini. They want to reconcile, but they feel like you're blocking them, like that's not what you want, or you're not sure that's what you want. Yet, here, Knight of Cups means bringing uh, emotional offer, a commitment, love. So once again, you're dealing with somebody that is very grounded, no matter what sign they are. Um, but especially if you're dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this person wants to reconcile with you. Yeah, they view you as very guarded, closed off, emotionally, like you don't care. Nevertheless, you love this person, but you are not telling this person you love them. Mm-hmm. You love this person. You do, but you're hiding it. <sighs> They're scared and fearful of what's going to happen. They would like to see this reconciliation. You are unable to release this person. You tried, but you're unable to. You love this person, but you're blocking yourself because you're not communicating effectively, consistently with this person. There have been serious problems with communication in this relationship. You two are soulmates, six of cups from other lifetimes. There is toxic energy that needs to be released. This is not a good combination. Eight of swords with the devil. So, uh, Gemini, whatever the toxic energy is that needs to go, otherwise, uh, you won't have a successful relationship with anybody. Uh, we're going to go into the extended reading uh, and ask your soulmate's current true long-term intentions, plans for you. Anything they may be hiding from you at this time, whether it's on purpose or they can't communicate right now for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of at this time for your highest good. And of course, at the end, Gemini, we're going to do advice for you from spirit, from universe, on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else the universe needs you to know right now for your highest good, they will show you in the reading. So click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there thank you so much uh, gemini sending you big hugs talk to you next time